Today, I'm going to teach you how to master the brand new Las Vegas track in F123. So not sparing any seconds, let's get to the track and meet you at Term 1. So coming down into Term 1, you want to be braking when the red and white curb starts on the right hand side. You want 57% on the front brake bias to give the ideal rotation into the corner. You'll be going down into fourth gear. It's critical in my opinion so far with my game knowledge to not be on the red and white curbing as it will reduce the grip of the car and become much easier to lock up into the apex. Speaking of the apex, you don't you do not want to hit the curb, but you want to be as close to it as possible while in fourth gear. As soon as you go past the apex, you want to be slightly back on the throttle to be balancing the car, exiting the corner in the middle of the track, aiming to bring the car back over to the left hand side for what is turn two. Turn two is a very treacherous, slippy and naturally oversteery corner. You'll be entering in fifth gear and the key to go fast in at this corner is to get as close to the red and white painted curve as possible but not to touch it. To carry amazing minimum speed with full confidence and commitment into the corner. Many corners you want to be slow in fast out as a general technique. Generally in my experience so far it's actually better to be fast in, medium speed out in this apex because the speed that you carry into the corner will help the downforce of the car help you carry more speed out of the apex. You want to be hugging the wall as much as possible until you can see the exit of the corner and opening the steering wheel all the way to the outside of the apex. Opening DRS as fast as possible and as fast as you feel confident to not spin the car. Going down what is a relatively bumpy straight here at Las Vegas. You'll be bringing the car to the left hand side and you'll see a bump in the track as it rises up. You'll be braking at the 100 meter board right up against the wall. 57% brake bias is still very good here and unlike turn 1, braking on the red and white part of the curb is advantageous because it does open up the track by another 10-20 centimeters, what can make a massive difference while reaching for the apex. You'll be up in fourth gear through here. You can hit the curb, you can not hit the curb. Both ways are in my opinion just as fast as each other right now with my game knowledge and you'll be going as early on the power right up to the wall but trying to avoid hitting it as that can damage your car in F123. Right up the gears, you'll be into seventh gear while entering this, well to be honest, hardest braking zone on the track. You can go wide here and get a better view of the apex but you'll be travelling a longer distance around the corner so although it will be easier to spot a braking point it will also be slower so this is why I do advise hugging the wall as much as possible and you can see the TVs at the top of your screen you can see one directly in front of me and then you can see two TVs after that as soon as you get past this sort of third TV on the top right hand side of the screen is the time to start hitting the brakes cautiously and you'll find yourself slowing down into third gear and taking the inside curb here. In my opinion it's better to avoid the inside curb because it can make the car slide and oversteer at this low speed. In F123 the cars are very susceptible to wheel spin at low speed so you want to make sure you avoid well causing any of that as much you can, as you can possibly do anyway. Coming out of this apex, bring the car as far back over to the right as possible and dab the brake. Be really gentle on the brake pedal here because it's so easy to lock up and slide and looking for a late apex. Do not hit the curb on the inside here as it will ruin your traction and momentum coming out of the corner. Bring the car right up against the wall and now you'll be shifting up the gears. Bring the car to the left hand side of the track because it will help you have a more flowing nature through this right hander was completely flat out and again into this left hander what has a ma well majority of it is a blind braking zone much like earlier in the lap but this one has a much more significant and easier to notice braking marker to so be hugging all the way on the inside and as soon as your car gets underneath this bridge 
is the time to hit the brake and go down into third gear. Bring the car as far right as possible, as close to the wall as you feel confident doing, and try to avoid hitting this inside curb and let the car run all the way outside to the outside wall. Of course, not hitting the wall. And now you're on the longest straight of the track, the Las Vegas Strip. It is just sensational driving down here, albeit quite simple in a Formula One car. You're opening up the arrest, and in race trim and qualifying trim as well, you can be getting up to 220 miles an hour. It's critical to start bringing the car back over to the right hand side as you're entering this treacherous braking zone. Super easy to miss your apex here. Break two meters late and say goodbye to the corner, to be honest. You'll be looking to break just before the 100 meter board. In this apex, it's better to break slightly too early and sort of nurse the brake pedal into the apex rather than brake too late, lock up and hit the wall as a subsequent result. Coming in to the apex, like I say, brake just before the 100 meter board, 120 meters is probably ideal. Brake right up against the wall on the red and white curbing. You'll be down into third gear for the first part of the apex. Take as much curb as you possibly can and then short shift into fourth and try to straight line this part of the curb and get as close to the wall as you possibly can. The reason for this is if you keep your line correct, you can take this next left hander completely flat out and gain temps on the exit of the corner. If you do not get the line right, you result in wheel spin and you lose a few temps in the run up to the line. The final corner of the track is very easy, completely flat out, and it's just about setting up the first corner. We're gonna do a live hot lap here, down into fourth gear. Let the car rotate through, exit in the middle of the track, up into fifth gear, like I say, carry good minimum speed into the apex and then open up for the corner on the exit, opening up gear up into 8th gear and then down into 4th gear, brake 100 meter board, like I say, down into 4th gear, kiss the curb, smooth on the power, looking for that third TV screen for the exit, there we go, just about get it slowed down for the apex, this track requires so much confidence, and then you can see back down into third, do not hit the inside curb, and smooth on the power, Six. Bring the car over to the left to set up this right hand as easily as possible into eighth gear. When the car gets underneath the bridge, brake down into third gear. And you can see there, getting the car slowed down nicely. Smooth on the power. And now on to the longest straight on the track. Take a tea, take a coffee, have a slice of cake. Enjoy yourself. You're on the Las Vegas strip. You know, might as well take in the moment. Look at the shiny buildings. Before you look at too many shiny buildings, though, so make sure. Oh, that was the upper tower. Make sure you get down to the braking zone of 120 meters, down into third gear, short shift the four, and then flat out to the final left hander, and then building up to what is a very simple final corner of the lap. In it gear, through the left hander, you pass the least distance and resistance, and that is a flying lap here at Las Vegas. So I really hope this video has been helpful, informative to you at home about mastering the brand new track here on F123. I've been Brendan Lee. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye.